we are going to look at what we started on in class today. We're going to look at the ability for us to be able to model and write expressions. And these are some of the ones that we did in class today. Cal buys a ticket T. He spends $6 on lunch. How much is the ticket and lunch? What we looked at were some keywords. We said the word and usually means that we're going to add. We told what our variable was, which is T. And we also included what that variable represented, which would be the tickets. We used our knowledge of numerical expressions to be able to combine that with algebraic expressions and came up with what our algebraic expression should look like. We came away with T plus $6. We also described what the $6 represent, and it represented the money that was spent on lunch. Then we went into our models. And we saw that we are adding, so we're joining two groups. So we joined the T and the 6 together. This shows that those, the variable and the amount of money he spent on lunch were joined. And this is how we would model T plus 6. We continued that, and we worked on a few of the other examples. We did all of these in class today, and we talked about how those models and these examples work for our particular word problems that we were given. So these are just some of the other examples that we had done in class that you're looking at. We went back and looked at um, example B from the previous night's homework and we saw that there was a misprint actually in that so we fixed that and it really should have said that he saw eight times as many dolphins as turtles and I know that was a little confusing so we went ahead and cleared that up here and we also modeled how we would model eight times D we identified what our variable would be, and we also identified what the 8 would represent. And we modeled that here, 8D, 8 times D. We also talked about the fact that we could have written the 8 times D in different ways. We talked about that. We could have written it this way, 8D. We talked about writing it like this, 8 times D represented this way. We also talked about that we were able to put it in parentheses and that all of these would represent multiplication. Now we're going to look at some just basic models and we're going to look at the models for each type of operation. We're going to start with a division model. So if we were giving this expression W divided by 3, we will look at this and model it this way. We would draw our simple rectangle, and we will also include this line underneath, because we need to say that we're talking about this entire part of the model. And our variable w would be written underneath it this way. We need to divide w, which is this entire piece, this is our unknown, our variable, we need to divide it into three parts. So we would actually show dotted lines to show that we are actually dividing this into three parts. So our division model for W divided by 3 would look like this. And if we did another example, S divided by 6, we would have a model that shows this part, which would be for the unknown. We need to say that this entire part represents S and that we're going to divide it into six parts. So we would take our lines and we would do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's been divided into six parts. When we are looking at a subtraction model, if this is going to be our subtraction algebraic expression, Maybe we had um, 4 minus j. Let me fix that and make it subtraction. So we're looking at our subtraction model, 4 minus j. We would model it this way. We need to, again, we're going to represent all parts of this algebraic expression. We are going to include this piece to our algebraic expression to our model, this represents the part that's taken away and it's included in this dotted area. So we're going to say that this is the entire model and we're saying that 4 
is all of this. But what's been taken away is the unknown, Shikori which is the J. Butler, Butler, and Jekyll Butler come to the office. And somebody Shikori, is being paid. Okay. And somebody's being paid, and I got distracted because we are not adding yet. Okay. So this would be our subtraction model. Let's do another one. So you can kind of get the feel of what that would look like. So let's do another example of a subtraction model. If we had this as our algebraic expression, 10 minus s, we would take the same thing. We would show that this is going to represent a part of our algebraic expression. This is the remaining part. So this is the whole thing, however, is 10. And what's been taken away from 10 is the S. That's the unknown. Okay, so that's what our subtraction models would look like. If we're doing a multiplication model, for example, if we had the algebraic expression 3 times Z or 3Z, we would, again, show in this model by starting with our rectangle, and then we would show that Z is going to be represented three times. So we would divide this into three parts, and of course this would be three equal parts, but we're going to draw it as best we can, and this would be three times z. This shows that the z is being represented three times in that model. And that is how we would do a multiplication model. And we did a multiplication model earlier when we were talking about the dolphins, how many dolphins does Dan see. So any multiplication model that you would have, this is what the model would be representing, okay? And this is how we would write that on the multiplication side. Now we have an addition model to, to show you. So we had 17 plus P. The addition model would look just like the ones that we did earlier with the um, lunch, and we were showing about how much money uh, was spent and the tickets represented um, the variable T. We do the same thing here, 17 plus P. We will have 17 in one part, P in the other part. That shows that these parts have been joined together. So in your, um, for your homework, you're going to go ahead and attempt to do the problems on the homework page that you took home, which also was similar to this assignment that we did in class today. You're going to remember to do your WISC and also go on to Edmodo and let me know that you have watched the video. See you in class.